This week is a journey like no other. 500 kilometers through the Bolivian Altiplano, all the way to Chile. The whole way above 4,000 meters, exceptional lagunas, rescue missions, flamingos, vicuñas, and the best convoy friends we could dream of. This week, we embark on the legendary Laguna Route. We are Nick and Mathilde, and in 2022, we left everything behind to travel the world with our Land Rover Defender. Europe, the Americas, Australia, Asia and Africa, we want to see it all. This is day 535 and we are in Bolivia. Welcome to the next Meridian Expedition. Last week, we reached the Salar de Uyuni on the way. We miraculously met some Swiss friends right there on the biggest Salar of the world. So we are now all in the small city of Uyuni getting ready for our next adventure. The challenge this week is to rally Bolivia to Chile through one of the most legendary drives on the Pan-American, the Lagunas route. A 500 kilometer stretch on the Altiplano, no gas stations, barely any infrastructures, bumpy and rough 4x4 tracks, an average elevation of 4,200 meters, and night temperatures under 0 Celsius. One of the most legendary drives on the Pan American. And we are not alone on this trip. We are planning to introduce you to our team, but that's the moment our microphone cable chose to break. Here is the guilty cable. This video will be a little bit different from the others as we didn't notice, but 80% of our audio is damaged because the cable between the camera and the microphone was broken and we only found out at the end. But don't worry, we need no sound to appreciate the beauty of the exceptional Laguna route. We got you and we hope you'll still love this video. Have a good video. We deflate the tires, agree on the route and take off with our friends. On the convoy we have the Green Troopy, aka the Camp Cruiser from the Netherlands, the Black Van, the Ducato, nicknamed Black Mamba, and last but not least we have Rosie, the Right Troopy from Switzerland. Will we make it to Chile without major incidents? What surprises the Altiplano has for us? Will the Ducato, the Black Mamba van, make it on the rough 4x4 tracks? Challenge this week will be to make it to Chile in one piece. There's so much silt on the road, and so sometimes you completely have to stop because you're covered with just dust and dust and dust. The first time we're experiencing something like this. It's kind of fun, but at the same time, it's like, oh man, it's so dangerous. day is spent mostly reaching the start of the Laguna's route, all in the dust and getting to know each other via the walkie-talkies. Straight away we got to admire the two-wheel drive van in action. We don't know if it's the driver or the car, but one thing is for sure, it promises to be an interesting journey. And we make it to our first Laguna just in time for sunset and with it came the flamingos. Now we are sure we made it to the Laguna route. As a convoy, the first night is also the time to define our ultimate camp setup strategy. Everything matters. The wind direction so we can adequately shelter from it. The side of the sunrise to ensure bonnets will be warming up first thing in the morning. And the flatness, obviously for good sleep. Now that we know each other, it is time to make progress. We have 500 kilometers on rough tracks to cover and only limited water and diesel. 
Breakfast time is used to plan the route and agree on the stops and target location for the night. But also, as the engine facing the sun slowly warm up from the freezing night above 4000 meters, everyone is helping each other on small mechanical checks. That's for this kind of camaraderie that we love the convoy vibe. Okay, we don't have sound, but we need to introduce you to those amazing guys we are traveling with. Not sure what they said exactly, but the key information is here. Hello! We are Swiss German. We are Dario and Vanessa. And this is our troopie from Australia, Rosie. It is old, but at least it's not a defender. Ha ha ha. Kidding. Hey, tschüss! Hello! I'm Nadine from Switzerland too. Hey, I'm John and I'm from Spain. And our car is the famous Black Mamba. This is a Ducato. We will show you all those Troopy and Defender what a real adventure car can do. Well, let's go! Bye! Hey, we are from the Netherlands. I'm Miss and this is Linda. And this is our Troopy, the Camp Cruiser. We are looking forward to discovering this legendary route with the group but we hope it won't be too windy or cold because we have no heater and a rooftop tent. See you! This is day two on the Lagunas road going from Bolivia to Chile. We have an absolute beautiful sun. It was very cold during the night, around minus 10 to the coldest. But now it's warming up super fast and we're going along this beautiful laguna with flamingos in it. Today we're going to come to a Laguna Colorada, the colorful lagoon which looks promising. And we are still with the convoy of four cars. Everyone's super happy, so it's great. Such a nice team. We are immediately thrown into the best of the Altiplano. On the side of the road, gorgeous vicuñas. In the blue lagunas, flamingos dancing in group. And just a lot of wide open areas to explore. It does not take long before the black mamba gets stuck. Well, I guess we have to go rescue it. Let's get into action. This is fun and an easy rescue. Plus, with a good group of friends, it's funner. Come on, Black Mamba! We spend the day exploring interesting landmarks in the desert like this small winding canyon. We are not here for nothing. There is another animal we are looking for. A sort of rabbit of the family of the chinchilla called Viscunchas. They live in the desert and it seems today is our lucky day. John aka the Viscunchas Whisperer. Rescue missions, Laguna hopping, canyon drive and Viscuchas, it took us an entire day to complete the 80 kilometers to the Laguna Colorada. But we eventually made it. The place is extremely regulated, we pay our entry tickets and register ourselves. It is not called the Colored Laguna for nothing. Just look at that! I believe here we were explaining how amazing this place was, but who knows. Damn microphone. <laughs> Okay. 
Eventually, we went around the Laguna in search for a place to camp, and Nick got the authorization of park employees to park on the mirador of the Laguna for the night. Great, we can park here. We got a nice spot for tonight. Day two campsite. We are with the flamingos and the Laguna all for ourselves. The Dutch, us, the Swiss van, and the other Swiss 4x4. Now we're gonna have dinner. Um, it's gonna be sweet. Nothing short of a unique campsite for sure. Surrounded by our flamingos friend, we set up our windproof camp configuration and cook a giant pasta dish for everyone to cope with the freezing wind. La pasta El vino. Es right. pronta. Plates for, for the trio flavors. Is there, is there we thought we were done for the day until two events came to change our plans. First, the same park employees who had let us park came back to ask us to move to another parking after nightfall. Second, the wind got so strong it forced a reorganization of the cars for the night. What a situation! Right now we have the bottom bed out and, and we're pulling out our bed because the Dutch don't have a diesel heater and tonight it's terrible. Very windy, very cold. So we are taking Nice and Linda is going into the other car. So we're separating the couple and we're giving them a hot bed for tonight. <laughs> so this is what's happening. Matilda and I are gonna sleep up here. And you stand there. Down here. And the diesel heater will be on all night, so he's going to be very cozy. cozy. Last time we had somebody in here was my brother Philip in Germany. The second time was Mathilde with Tom. And the third time is now with Mies. All right, let's get ready. The strong winds have highly complicated our evenings, making it cold and hard to enjoy the time together. Indeed, it does not look like it with the desert colors, bright sun and our flashy sunburns on the face, but it is actually freezing. Night temperatures reach minus 10 Celsius. Brr. This is how cold it is in the vehicle. Even though we had the diesel heater on, look at that. We have ice. It's minus five outside, even Inside it's probably 20, but the walls are still frozen. Oh man, incredible. Time to take the road again. On day three, we are looking to be warmer. Has some secret. In particular, the ground of those high plateaux is rich in geothermal activities. We discover amazing geysers, fumaroles, and boiling mud ponds. We're at 4,900 meters, the highest albatross I've ever oh driven, God. and geysers all the way up here. Incredible. And who says geothermal activity also says hot springs? Yes, yes, after suffering in the wind, we rewarded ourselves with the ultimate warming experience. And this was the best landscape possible. Look at me, after those weeks in the cold, so happy to put on a swimsuit and take a towel to go enjoy the hot springs. We top it up with a well-deserved pizza night unlike any other. 
forget firewood pizza in the middle of the Altiplano, but with the talent of our new friends and their amazing pizza dough, we made the best of it with a pan-cooked pizza. One of our overlanding cooking favorite dish. Pizza night? What do you put on your pizza? Um, tomatoes, olives, cabra. It's kind of a Greek pizza. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Very cool. <laughs> Nick is warming up onions and tomatoes. Yeah. yeah. Miss, Miss, what's your pizza plan for tonight? Mm, it's like the, the, the spicy tuna with onion. <laughs> and Whoa. The American, so the salami and mozzarella and fat things. At some point in his life, we were calling Miss Chef Miss. So we're looking forward to seeing that. What is your pizza like, guys? <laughs> Act natural. Garlic, tomatoes, mm. the cabra, onion. Preparing the dough. Oh, the <laughs> Good job, Chef Mish. We're still. Cooking the dough. And good and good the and what the and after the delicious pizzas, we're rewarded with the most beautiful sky. Right. Day four. If it all goes well, it should be the day we reach the border with Chile. But first, we have an insane off-road above the mountains to complete. It might not look like it, but the ground is very sandy, which makes the uphill sometimes challenging. We all made it though, it's even the black mamba. Even if it means taking original methods to make it up, like reversing the whole way. Good thing there's no traffic on the Laguna route. This is the playground we're on. We're all trying to cross all the hills, but <laughs> they're a bit steep. And so we're all waiting for the black mamba, the black van over there, to make it up. Once he's up, we can all go up. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> oh man. He's coming, he's coming. <laughs> We tell you, this Ducato is the next off-road trend. <laughs> why but while driving through it really has like a whole vibe like you know we're going through some some war zone area crossing an abandoned mine mina orsu you said mina orsu yeah spooky Silver everywhere.
all the convoys succeeded in crossing the mountain range and we left the sulfur mine behind to go admire the last lagunas before the border. Unfortunately, once again, the wind cut back with us. Big time! Wow, this laguna is by far my favorite. We are literally in front of the Chilean border, but the colors are insane and I think we're not the only one to be cold. All the flamingos are like squeezed together. Oh my gosh! I have no idea where we're gonna fit for lunch because this wind is insane. Everybody is eating lunch in their car because there's too much wind. All the important documents I need here are passports, temporary import permit for Albatross, and now we are at the border at the aduana. Let's go. Chile, here we come. Okay, the car is out of Bolivia. Now we need to stamp ourselves out. Republica de Chile. 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 That's it. We are out of Bolivia and into Chile. This is officially the end of the legendary Laguna route. It took us four days and we'll definitely remember this out of the world landscape. Colorful lagunas, charming wildlife and insane winds of course. We finally go under the 4000 meter elevation as we head to the town of San Pedro de Atacama in Chile for some well deserved shower and car cleaning. So much dust! Next week we embark on our last adventure on the Altiplano. We thought we had seen it all but we can assure you we had not. Oh, and subscribe to the channel to be sure you do not miss the rest of the world tour. See you next week. <laughs> Wait, I've got an idea. What is he gonna do? I think I'm being followed. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. hey guys, what are we doing? <laughs>